here to hit y'all with another one. Y'all make sure y'all like as y'all into the chat room, all that good stuff. I ain't going to take too long. You know, I'll be too long with it on doing this because I know it's the middle of the day and all that good stuff. You know, I appreciate to those, you know, who who been showing support, even if it's only a handful. I appreciate the love and, you know, and thank you all. <clears throat> you know, I appreciate it. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to hit y'all with a, you know, one or two this weekend, you know, but this this one's gonna be kind of early. So all I can ask, make sure y'all like this, y'all into the chat room, you know, uh, make sure you follow me at Godbody underscore 2009. I love y'all. Um, you know, if you want to show that love, my links are in the chat room. Um, make sure you, like, like I always say, make sure you already subscribe if you enter the chat, you know. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this started. This is called uh, Breaking Up With Her. It's fine. With the Scorpio man, and I'm trying to make, and this ain't gonna be like my last video. That's why I had took it down because I kind of wanted to revamp it and redo it and and redo the title and everything. So I'm gonna do it like that. <clears throat> you know, one thing you gotta understand when it comes to, uh, y'all, excuse me. <sighs> one thing y'all gotta understand when it comes to the Scorpio man, it's always going to, you know, it's always going to be. Um, passion it's always a deep connection it's always a real connection when it comes to us the scorpio man you know um i need to really start doing <laughs> just relationship videos as a whole because you know a lot of people don't get it and you know it, that it's not just about scorpio man that is about men in general but i try to use myself you know in my sign of course you know one thing you gotta understand when it comes to the scorpio man is that we we are in it from the beginning you know what i mean uh a lot of people a lot of women be like oh you know that scorpio man this or oh that scorpio man that but you know and you know it, of course it's going to be a, from personal experience but i'm gonna speak from you know a real piece of myself so one thing you gotta understand when it comes to us is you know even from the very beginning regardless of what anybody might say or anybody might dispute you know, the Scorpio man, we put in, you know, 100% genuine energy. Hey, Ariel, we, we put 100% energy and deep passion from the beginning. You know, regardless of what anybody wants to say, uh, how people want to look at it. Yeah, we, we hold back to a certain extent. But the reason the Scorpio man holds back during the duration of, of the relationship to a certain extent is because something we we don't we don't put all our our eggs into one basket so to say because it's 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 only you're only setting yourself up you know to a certain extent and we we don't like we we love so hard we love so deeply our 20 percent is somebody else's two 200 percent you see what i'm saying our 10 percent is somebody else's 100 percent you know it's it's different it's different levels of love it's different categories of love and most people don't love like we love most people don't care like we care most people don't understand like we understand and when it comes to the the category of love it's deep for the scorpio man you know and like i told y'all last time you know because i never really got to do this video in particular it's been a long time since i've done scorpio breakups it's always you know something that's spiritual that's disconnecting us from our partners it's always something that's troubling us that disconnects us from our partners <clears throat> it's not because she wearing her hair a different color it's not because <clears throat> it's not gonna be it's not gonna be that stupid guy that um breaks up with his woman because she gained a couple of pounds it's not be it's not gonna be because oh i, I see another woman so I want to talk to this woman, so I'm gonna make up some bogus excuse or make up some bogus uh, reason for leaving that woman. And I, I know, just like I said, I know it ain't gonna be this and that, and you know, but I'm, I'm doing this for y'all. You know, I'm, I'm not looking for the number game right now. I might have to take this jacket off a little bit because it's getting a little, a little warm. Whew. So. But one thing you got to understand when it comes to us, Scorpio, man, we, we put everything into it from the beginning. You know, um, 
especially me as Evolve. I'm going to speak for Evolve, Scorpio, so it won't seem like I'm being biased. You know what I mean? And so y'all can understand this. You know, Scorpio, man, we don't we do not do anything for no reason. We always are 100% when we come into a relationship. We don't have unrealistic expectations. We don't expect things to pop out like a rabbit in the hat. You know, sometimes we, we can be irrational. Sometimes we can be impatient. You know, a lot of times we can be impatient, but to the point where it becomes a part of breaking up, it's always going to be something deep. It's always going to be something that's that's troubling him. And I, I know that it ain't going to be all this and that, all these people or whatever in here, but I'm just going to make it make it happen the way it happens. If, if there's some funny stuff with you, to, hey, that's, it is what it is. You know, one thing you got to understand about us is, you know, we try so hard. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go deep. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go deep inside myself. I don't know, you know, who's gonna be in here, who's who's not gonna be in here. But I'm gonna go deep inside myself for this video, so y'all can really get it, like I always done. We try so hard from the very beginning, you know, because there's so many, there's so many other, you know, damaging, toxic individuals that that's out here. We know it's a lot of evil, heartless men that's out here, men and women as well. So when we come into the relationship, we know we don't have this this ego. This, we don't have this ego. We don't have this this uh, this. This arrogance, you know, what I mean, we, we come in there knowing like, hey, it's not it's hard to find a good woman, you know, just like it's hard to find a good man. We know it's hard to find a good stern partner. It's hard to find a good solid individual just like it is hard to find just real genuine individuals as a whole you know what i'm saying it's it's hard because it's not that many real people left it's not that really it's not that many genuine people left that will love you unconditionally that will stick by you for the whole nine yards and the scorpio man we we know it's hard we know it's sometimes it, it's, it's, it's sometimes extremely strenuous. It's, it's very difficult, but it's not impossible. It's somebody out there. And for that Scorpio man, we're willing to wait our turn, wait for that right woman. We're willing to work our way to that right woman. We'll wait, if, we'll wait for God to send us that right woman. But we're not, he's not going to be, we're not the individuals to settle for the worst of an individual. We're not the type that settled for, you know, what your last partner didn't settle for. You know what I mean? And I'm going to break this down because I, I explained it somewhat in the last video, but I was kind of like all over the place a little bit. So I'm going I'm to really stick to the topic on this one. When a Scorpio man dates you, when a Scorpio man, when we are into a woman, and, and just, and like I say all the time, I'm, I'm going to start doing videos just based off relationships i'm gonna start doing relation just straight relationship videos because it's too much general information that i want to get out there that i don't want it to be taken into bias so you don't be surprised if you start seeing relationship just straight relationship videos from me but i'm gonna i'm gonna I'm uh you know definitely deliver this one for the scorpio for y'all right quick we don't we we put every we put what we would want in return we and we show that from the very beginning that scorpio one thing and anybody can tell you that's really been with a scorpio they'll tell you it's true we'll we'll be the the best listeners in the beginning we're very patient and very very and very loving you know almost sweet in the beginning you know what i mean we we show you we give you that that treatment that any woman would want we give you that man that any woman would want. We try to show our best qualities. We try to show our best strengths. You know, we try to show you what where we going. But you got to understand that the Scorpio man is never going to be this this uh, individual that's easily uh, tuned or changed for anybody. You know. The Scorpio is going to look at that woman very logically. Hey, what's going on? He's going. We're going to look at that woman very logically. We're going to look at that woman very rarely. In the spiritual matters, the Scorpio man is going to want a woman that's equally yoked with him. As far as the spiritual matters, 
I'm, I'm going to hit it from head to toe so we can get it straight. I'm, I'm going to get this clear so people cannot misconstrue anything I said. And, you know, I see y'all coming in. Make sure y'all like, you know, um, he's going to want a woman that's equally yoked. He's not going, Scorpio is not the type that's going to be deeply, this deeply spiritual individual that, that uh, have a deep relationship with God and be with a, a woman that has no, absolutely no respect for God. Just like a Scorpio is, is, is not going to be putting his time into a conversation with a woman and she barely even talks or give him any feedback, give him any motivation, give him any any confidence in in, in, to, in in her love for him. If it's not equal, that Scorpio man, he's going to voice it. If it's not real, he's going to voice it. He's going to become agitated with it. You can it could be the best sex in the world, but one thing that makes us different than most individuals is the Scorpio man. We look at the bare facts. We look at what's the real realities. We look at the black and white. If she's not a good woman, just like if, if if homeboy over there is not a good friend, if if that person not a, a loyal family member, we look at everyone unbiasedly. He don't care how good the sex is. We don't care how sexy she is. We look at the facts. I and mean, you got to understand that because a lot of women uh, get blown out of out of shape or uh, get pissed off with us for for fallouts or for disagreements and misunderstandings but they don't look at their selves. They don't be realistic. They're not logical or make any type of sense except to their selves. You have to be an individual that take accountability and be like, hey, I'm a mess. He loves me, he cares about me, but I'm just as much as he's blessed to be with me, I'm blessed to be with him because I'm a mess too. Yeah, he a trip. Yeah, he a little wild. Yeah, he's a he a little stubborn, but I'm a mess too. It got to be a it got to be equally yoked, not only in the spiritual minds, but you got to be equally yoked as far as your mindset towards each other. And a lot of them are not gonna do that. A lot of them are not gonna play fair. It's always gonna be the the blame game. It's always gonna be you're always going to be, as a man, be demonized by the by your woman or by your ex. All your good qualities, all the wonderful things you did will go out the door. Because a lot of people don't understand this because a lot of people don't know what love really is. Because I don't accept your piss poor treatment doesn't mean I don't love you. Because I don't accept take I don't accept being anything except for a leader amongst my family don't means I don't love you because I don't accept any any type of philosophies any type of spiritual philosophies any type of uh what's what's the, what's a, a word for it any type of dysfunctional domestic behaviors he's going to pay very close attention to it. Not like a teacher, not like this, this strict coach, but he's going to look at it as a person that cares and loves you and, and really pays attention to what you do. He really pays attention to what you say. A lot of women are used to dudes that just have... Let, let's be real. Let's be real here right now. A lot of people... A lot of them are satisfied with dudes that put up with tolerate their stuff that that's a good guy to them oh he he goes for everything I, I i say that's a good man oh he's quiet when he needs to be raising hell that's a good man right no no testosterone <laughs> no testosterone no masculinity no bass in his voice no arguments he's just a, he's just a gentle flower He's just he's just a lily. Uh, he, he's just a lily bleed uh, breezing in the wind, right? No no masculinity. That's a that's a perfect man for a lot of you. The guy with the with the mute. The guy it, it's it, it's it's and I had a good I had a good metaphor for yesterday. 
I had a wonderful metaphor for yesterday, and I want to. I hope I can recall it and, and quote this correctly, because I'm always coming up with stuff in my head. Now I love y'all, and I appreciate those who are in here, because this ain't for everybody. But for the ones that need to hear it, they are gonna hear it. I'm and y'all make sure y'all you know show that love. Make sure y'all you know if you want to donate and all that good stuff, that's cool. I appreciate it. My links are in the chat. Make sure you follow me at Godbody underscore two thousand nine. How, how I want to set it. How I want to set this up. A lot of you call yourself a goddess. A lot of you, and it, there are women that are goddesses. There are women that are queens. But a lot of you don't have kingdoms. And I'm gonna, and I'm gonna make. I'm gonna speak this clearly because everybody's using this nowadays. A lot of you don't have kingdoms. A lot of your actions are not built for an empire. A lot of the things and philosophies a lot of women and men pick up are not the, the mindset of a king, not the mindset of a queen. A lot of you are building circuses. You're not looking for a king. You're not looking to build an empire. You're looking for a clown. You're looking for monkeys. You're looking for a, a fucking giraffe, the, uh, <laughs> the hula hoop with the damn, with the fire around his neck. You're looking for acrobats. You're looking for entertainers. You see what I'm saying? And that's not what a Scorpio, that's not what he's going to do. If it looks like mess, he's not going to be blindsided by your love. It's going to be very visible to him. It's going to be very clear to him. He's not going to be fooled or blindsided by, you know, some people ain't going to come in. This ain't for, this ain't for everybody because everybody likes to hear the fun stuff. Everybody likes to get their, their ears tickled. But this ain't, this ain't for them. This ain't, this ain't the circus. This is a real, this is the real deal. So I'm, I'm going to read your stuff and all that. I'm going to read your stuff. And now I, I don't know how. Every, hey, hey, sincerely, Empress. Oh, Lord, you a Gemini woman and he a Scorpio. Oh, uh, I don't know. You, <laughs> they see what he, he said he cannot live without me. My Scorpio come back in a relationship of love and why he will say he loves me a lot. He said he missed me so much. Oh, you, you had he hit me up on the email. You got my information. Hit me up on the email. You know the process. You know the process. So make sure you hit me up behind the you know scene for advice. Um it it hits deeper for us because we we really truly step out on faith. We really step out on giving it a shot because Scorpio, we don't take on the people very easily. We don't trust nobody easily. We don't we don't hang out with people easily because a lot of them don't deserve that that connection. A lot of them don't understand that connection, and that's why a lot of Scorpios like when we move on to relationship, it's hard. It's real hard because. It's not a lot out there. It's not really a lot of availability out there. And I don't even know if I'm going to keep this video up. It's up to y'all. It's up to how many people come in, of course, all that good stuff. But I'm not going to say I'm going to keep this video up. But if y'all need to hear it, you need to hear it. Like, I, I had to let go a lot of my last past relationship because it got to the point it felt like I was swallowing, you know, I was swallowing, like, I was literally gritting my teeth in order to stay in it. I'm literally painting myself in order to stay stay in it. I'm literally compromising my beliefs. I'm compromising my mindset. I'm compromising who I am so I can so I can be friends with old dude, so I can so I can uh, have sex with old girl, so I can fit in with the with the crowd, so everybody be my friend. I can be cool with everybody compromising myself what what Malcolm X say a compromising Negro <laughs> I become a compromising Negro happy go lucky get along 
and let everything go go by. No, I, I I just can't do it. And that's the reason a lot of times a lot of Scorpio we 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 lose that the it girl sometimes. We lose the pretty girl sometimes. We 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 end the relationship with the sexy girl. You know what I'm saying? We you scoop we the few that were, that were in that relationship with that that sexy woman with no kids, no nothing with her. You know what I'm saying? We we completely we completely split up even with that freedom that we have. It it becomes suffocating. Because just like a circus a lot of those women that be out there is like they dance around the elephant in the room like a ringleader in a circus. They it's chaos all around and dysfunction all around their life. Like a ringleader in a circus. They got the clowns, they got the the, the damn hula hoopers, they got all types of shit going on. No real, no real uh What's the word for it, y'all? Uh, it's no real stability, no real foundation, and a lot of them are delusional. And a lot of us, Scorpio, we know we we hard headed. We know we we got our past. We know we can be wild. It's it's nobody that's perfect, but it, it ain't got nothing to do with perfection. It's it's got something to do with. Correction, not perfection, correction. Yeah, I F up, but I'm going to try to get better with this. Yeah, I know I, I, I'm like this, but I'm I'm trying, I'm, I'm, we're going to work on it together. We're going to get better together. Yeah, I do a little this and a little that, but I'm going, I'm trying to improve and become better every day. You see what I'm saying? But it take that takes accountability. That That takes you pointing the finger at yourself. That takes a good, it takes you to look, take a look at the mirror because you can't look at nobody else until you look at yourself. Until you judge yourself with a hundred percent scrutiny. I'm not talking about just regular judging. Judge yourself with the same scrutiny. Judge yourself with the same stress that you do others. Put, put yourself in that same predicament as you put the man that's been in your past, that's been in your life. Ask yourself, what am I doing to screw up this relationship? Why don't he why don't he want to be with me no more? Why didn't the rest of them want to be with me no more? Why 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 those relationships end so fast? Why can't why can't I get it with my brother? It, it's it's something wrong. It's a discord, it's a disruption. And if you're not a person of intuition, if you're not a person of real wisdom, it's not going to hit home. It's like I told I told somebody yesterday, I can sit and speak speak truth to you until I can I can I can cry a river, my face could turn blue, my locks could fall out my motherfucking head. But as long as you got that bullshit blindfold over your eyes. That spiritual blindfold over your ass to to correct yourself, to take accountability for yourself, to look at yourself. It's like I'm speaking Spanish, I'm speaking Swahili, I'm speaking Japanese. The truth is Japanese to people to most individuals. The truth is is being mean to certain individuals, being masculine. Is being toxic to most individuals. Being a leader is 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 not is not is not appreciated. It's not taken in into consideration. Hey Michelle, me miss. Hey God, body. I'm wondering if you ever dated a Scorpio woman. Um, no. I I'm gonna be honest. I'm an honest individual. I never I never dated. Uh, I've been friends. I've been I've been friends, not not F buddy, <laughs> not not hump buddies, but real friends. I've been friends with one, you know what I'm saying? And she was crazy. She was crazy as hell. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Even the sweet one. She know who she is. Little light skinned, crazy girl. She was crazy. And she was a Southern Belle from South Carolina. And I met a a, a Scorpio, I was talking to a Scorpio from Jamaica. They ain't got no, they don't have no sense. 
they ain't got no <laughs> she got to have her mind her head on straight not all of them it's some of them that's really nice but they they got to have they her, she got to have her head on straight in order to beat anything to anybody just it's same the same with the scorpio man let me see I just use this as as the blueprint when because a lot of y'all ask me why why I use that why I say this like that why have you ever dated a Gemini woman? Yes, I dated a Gemini woman. Uh, beautiful individuals, they can be very you know contrary to what others may say. It can it can definitely work, but she got to be that Gemini woman got to be an individual that got her head on straight she got to be a gemini that don't that don't have a, a messy past she got to be a gemini that's willing to grow with that scorpio man she can't be all over the damn place it got she got to be she got to have herself stable she got to have her mind stable because if she's still in the immature stage she's going to be all over the place see that scorpio man ain't going to really he, he's not, he's not going to understand her whatsoever you know what I mean? Let me see. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit just so y'all can get get a good look at. It. I just want to make sure everything coming through straight, y'all. And y'all, y'all give me one second. I just need to set up right quick. I'm I'm still I'm still here. So y'all just be patient with me. I'm still here, y'all. Y'all just give me one second. And make sure y'all like as y'all into the chat room. Make sure you follow me at GodBody underscore 2009. I appreciate those that's in here with me. I'm right here. I'm coming. You know, um, one thing you got to understand when it comes to to the Scorpio man, it's always, it's never an easy thing for us to give up anybody. You know, it's never an easy thing. <laughs> you got to follow. It's never an easy thing for us to give up nobody. It's never an easy thing for us to back away from somebody. And and you know, just like I said, it's never this thing of I I I hate her. I'll, I'll never. It's no chance of me wanting to talk to you. It's no chance for me wanted to patch things up because like i said we not perfect we understand that things happen life happens you know people fall out people have disagreements sometimes long time sometimes permanently but us as well man like we really reach we really soul search with everything that we do a lot of you want to understand why he keep coming back not because you perfect, not because, and I don't want you to get that misinterpreted. You know, I might have to do a video on that, you know, also, you know, I'm, I'm going I'm to just say that for another video, but we try to put our best foot forward in the beginning. We, we, it's hard for us to really just jump into relationships. It might be a woman that just got in a relationship with a Scorpio man, or just started with a Scorpio man, or just really getting to know him. And it, it's hard for us to put our chips in one basket, especially if he's seeing certain things. You know, if you're an individual that is stuck in your ways, whether especially not, not just, I ain't talking about good stuff. Your good qualities make you who you are. I'm talking about you stuck in your ways, in your toxic ways. You stuck in your ways as far as stubbornness. You stuck in your ways as far as uh, being difficult to deal with, you know. I don't know. They, they 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 might make this video hard to get out there. I don't know how they gonna do me, y'all. So y'all let me know if y'all in here. You know, make sure you uh feel free to jump in the chat room. Um, uh, y'all give me a heart if you if you enjoying this video. I don't. It, I'm never. I'm never doing it to be harsh. I just be. Oh, God, body's doing a tough video. God, body's doing a, a dark topic. You know, it's 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 realistic. These this thing happens. It, I want y'all to make make sure y'all understand. Like it's hard for us to let go because we we see it's, it almost feel like us like us Scorpio like a Scorpio breaking up. With, it's almost feels like a person that's deceased. 
it almost feels like a person that's passed on, a person that's no longer in the land of the living around you. It has almost that same effect. It has almost this 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 completely feeling of permanence. And and we feel that the same way as the woman feels it that's in a relationship with us. The Scorpio man feels he feels that deeply, whether you realize or not, y'all will tell you, like a lot of people say, oh, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's not, you know, he's not going to be feeling nothing. He's going to be heartless about it. No, that's, that's not true. That's not true. The Scorpio man, he feels the pain. He feels the absence. He feels the sadness of any disconnection that he has. He feels the, the, uh, the, I, and I didn't, I didn't share this on on Instagram, which is kind of my fault. I could have, but it'd be just taking, it'd be just so slow for me. Sometimes I just like I don't know, you know. If I gotta redo it, then I apologize. I redo it or whatever. But um, it's hard to let go of that connection because we have a connection of permanence because we're fixed signs. You know what I'm saying? We're very permanent. We're very real. We're very all the way or nothing. It's like some people be like, you know, that's you know, that's the way Scorpio is. Everybody not like that. It's like, why would why would anybody invest their time, invest their love, invest their energy, have built soul ties with an individual that you have no you have no intentions of being real with. You have no intentions of putting a hundred percent into. You have no intentions of of giving your all with. What 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 the fuck is the purpose of that? You know what I'm saying? I know people can't be that bored or that dissatisfied with life where they feel like they gotta drag somebody else into their mess, where they gotta drag somebody else into their selfishness, where they gotta drag somebody else into their dramas. You know, I, and I want <laughs> I want to do I could I could be doing a real messy video, but I'm, I'm gonna keep it like this. I'm gonna keep this video like this. You know. And I'm going to just combine what I can combine. No, the Scorpio is not going to be, he's not going to be satisfied. He's not going to take the, accept the, uh, the woman that has enormous baggage, whether she, she has this and that going on, have, have, oh, I'm in between this and I need to, I haven't sound my, I'm, I'm in the middle of a, a, a relationship, but he, he's coming in and out. Uh, oh, I, I'm, I'm in a relationship, but he's, you know, if if you're not all into it, if you're not a hundred percent, leave us alone because Scorpio is not going to accept anything else. If you're not going to be be right, if you're not going to be a ride or die with us, we're gonna we're gonna help you choose. A lot of it's certain individuals that come in our life that want to be in the middle, that want to be neutral, not not loving, not really giving, not really there half the time, not really not really communicate with you, but I, I still love you. You know what I'm saying? I still love you. I don't really do stuff that people do when they when they love somebody, but I, I still love you. So I'm in the middle. You can't be too mean to me, but you can't be like, they want to be in the middle. They want that middle man treatment. No, not with a Scorpio. He's going to put you in one category or another. If you don't know where you belong in his life, he's going to put you in that category. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't present the behaviors in the character of a girlfriend, a uh, long-term woman in his life, he's going to put you in the temporary woman category. He's going to put you in the, in the jump-off category. He's going to put you in the throwaway shorty category. He's going to put you in the uh, uh, break her backbone on the weekend category. You you the you the you the uh, you the woman that we wash down with our Hennessy. You ain't the woman that we we, we take take to the. Uh, Take to the damn festival. You ain't the woman that we take that we share dinner with. You just the woman that we wash down with our Hennessy. It's it's just that simple. You can't. You ain't gonna be no halfway with us. You're not gonna be giving no wifey treatment, doing doing half ass things that fast ass women do. You're not gonna be giving this this girlfriend this respect, and you 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 talking like a dirty sailor or. You're not gonna be getting this treatment, and you you doing little to nothing to receive that treatment, to receive that loyalty, to receive that connection that's deep. 
you know, because a lot of individuals they they don't they don't put nothing into it, they don't put no effort into it. In the Scorpio, we watch that. We we really really watch, especially when we evolve. Yeah, I'm I'm not saying oh, some Scorpios are very uh, can be very hard and cruel when it comes to that consideration, but. For us that's evolved, we really, really look deep in ourselves. We really try to take that time to really, really, really search and soul search, especially when we really love you. Because we really, when we love a person, we really love them. So we soul search. We really look deep inside of ourselves. We really try to connect, you know, no matter what it is. But when those answers come to that Scorpio, he's going to react on those answers. When that, when you start to show stuff to your actions, he's gonna pay attention to your actions. You don't always have to be saying everything right just because a person have a happy face. Like a lot of people be like, oh, Scorpio, oh, he, he's evil because he got locks and he got a deep voice and he speak, he speak with some volume to his voice. So he's an evil guy. He's black too. He's don't forget that he's black. He's evil. He's evil. Just because a motherfucker have a, a certain face or a certain tone to their voice don't mean nothing. You can have you can they can have the, the face and the whole nine yards and uh, <laughs> and be and be absolutely hell on earth. That woman could could literally have the softest tone, have the sweetest uh aura around her, but everything she does is evil and wicked. Everything she says out her mouth is contrary to what it what she seems like it doesn't matter what a person seems like it only matters who they actually are you got to look inside the soul of the person and as a scorpio we look inside the soul of an individual when we trying to see whether or should i be with this individual or should i just go 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 out my way because a lot of times it's it, the, the signs is is written on the wall and you know us as scorpio a lot of times we try to you know, back away from it. A lot of times we try to avoid it because we love so deeply. There's a lot of every woman, every woman that seems like they nice don't deserve a, a a man. Every every man that seems like he nice don't deserve a woman because she could be seen like she nice. She whined and cried to her girlfriends about how the man dogged out, but everything she did in that household behind closed doors was toxic. Everything she did or behind the door, behind closed doors, where that that man was telling him it's over, was telling him he needs to he needs to take a hike, he needs to step. You know, you know how how, how my old, you know, East Coast cats used to say, "Hey, yo, I'm a step, I'm a step to the left, I'm a, I'm gonna take the higher route." That and that's how Scorpio is. We we ain't gonna sit there and cry and and beg you to change. We're not going to sit here and have these interventions. We're not going to try to f find out, you know, what what is it? Tell me, like, please talk to me. Tell me, help me understand. Help me understand. Help me. Help me help you. <laughs> help me help you. We took vials. We took vials. We took vials. <laughs> I need you. I can't breathe without you. I can't eat without you. You don't do shit worth a damn, but I need you because I'm weak and I'm pathetic and I'm a beta male and I need some booty at night. I need booty at night time. And I don't know how to cook fried chicken. You know you know how to make them wings, them vinaigrette wings. You know you learn how to cook. I need you. I need you. <laughs> we don't do that. If you a mess, we gonna leave that mess where it belong. That mess don't belong stored away. Let her leave, let, leave her pretty dysfunctional ass for somebody for another sucker. It's plenty of beautiful women that got virtues. There's plenty of beautiful women that will be equally yoked with with you. As a man, but you got to be patient. You got to wait for her. And the Scorpio man, we're willing to wait. We're willing to be by ourselves. That's why you'll see that Scorpio with no wife. You'll see that Scorpio with no kids because we know that the best is always going to be for last. It's always going to be safe for last. 
he we not we I just can't I can't stand taking the 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 leftovers. I can't stand taking the cold lasagna. You know, having having a a woman that's giving you her worst is like having cold having cold lasagna. You know what I'm saying? It's like having old food. It just it don't it don't settle well with you. It don't sit on your stomach well. It don't smell good. It don't taste good. It don't have the same flavor to it. They don't have the same measurement to it. You see what I'm saying? And the Scorpio, we we just don't expect him to settle. Don't expect yourself to throw whatever you have and think we're going to be cool with you. Not just our girlfriends, not just our wives, not just a woman we seeing, but acquaintances, family members, everybody. But with with the with the girlfriend, it's like, why would I connect with somebody that's not even trying? Why would I connect with somebody that's not even willing to let let that Scorpio man lead as a man? If you're not gonna let him lead as a man, you he's gonna I'm, he's gonna leave you to the beta males, so you can lead them over the damn cliff, cause they they get they gonna tuck their stuff in just like a VV. Just like, just like some uh, cookies, just like they little, uh, you know. And he'll fit right into her category. He'll fit right into her world. The man with no vocal cords, the man with no strength, you know. And just like I told y'all in my last video, a lot of women want to, they want to get a certain reaction out of us and a certain connection out of us, and and not put, really put in no, no, uh, no effort, not really show no love, not really put in you know they 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 give us back end treatment you know what i'm saying they they put they they put on the act in the beginning what what i call it the honeymoon phase everybody's good at the honeymoon phase but most of y'all can't even last through the honeymoon phase you know what i'm saying it's a lot of them that can't even last through the honeymoon phase because they they got too much mess going on they got the masquerade the mask of the masquerade is just not strong enough to hold her true colors. It's just not strong enough. And you and you start slipping. You start becoming dysfunctional. You start becoming messy. Y'all start becoming sloppy. You start becoming more disrespectful. You start becoming thoughtless with your words. You know what I'm saying? And he's gonna feed off of that. We feed off of that. We read between the lines. No, you don't have to connect with us. You don't have to uh, make sure you call us and connect with us, but don't mean I got that. I got to treat you like anything worth a damn. No, you ain't got to. You ain't got to show me love and appreciation, and and stay true to me. But don't mean I got to give a fuck about you. I don't got to date you. I don't got to even be loyal to you. If you not, if you not doing the things uh, as a woman is supposed to be doing, he don't have to do the things that a man's supposed to do. Cause it's it goes it goes the same on both ways. If you if you being if you acting like the damn wicked witch of the West, he should he he deserves he's well within his right to be a bastard to be an asshole. Because they go together, nasty witch nasty big mouth witches go perfect with assholes. They're a match made in heaven, a match made in hell. Not not no king, not no warrior. We we leave them big big mouth ass winches. Right where they belong in the trash can. We leave their words, everything, go through one ear and out the other. We don't. The Scorpio, he's not going to settle for a backhand treatment. We don't. We're not going to settle for the let the woman at the end of the damn totem pole. You know what I told myself one time when the when the woman I was dating pissed me off. And this is how a lot of Scorpios think because we very. We have a, a dry humor, but it's very serious and it's very real. It's, you know what I told myself? I, I said, just like my youngest say, this 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 blockhead, this blockhead chick, she not on the damn team. If she was wearing the damn jersey, I'll rip that shit off her back. I wouldn't even wait for her to take it off. I just rip it off of her ass. You 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 can't even sit on the motherfucking bleachers. You you not even allowed in the damn game. Your ass is out the window. You you in the bleachers. You over the damn field somewhere. 
you not you not on the team. You not you not even you not even a team player. You a you a fucking bench rider. You you need to be over you need to be over there somewhere. Way over there. A lot of these dudes be throwing jerseys on bench riders. They be throwing jerseys on 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 water girls. Throwing jerseys on 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 damn on on the damn trash girl. You can't. It don't. It don't go together. What? What? This is like. It's like you trying to. It's like you trying to send a three foot pony into a horse race. That, that motherfucker. Them horses gonna be running. They gonna be going around that damn track. That damn pony go. They on the eighth lap. Uh, how many laps did the pony do? Uh, about two, one and a half. That motherfucker clocking along, going slow as hell. <laughs> you done put thousands of dollars. You done put all your hard sweat and tears into it. And the race is like, <laughs> like, please, please, pony, please. Like, come on now. You wasn't running like this. A bit. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Lick his tongue out. Just <laughs> keep on trying. It's not going to work. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not. It's not gonna. It's not even gonna resonate a lot. See, this video ain't gonna set well here because a lot of them ain't gonna be able to. They can't. It's not easy to stomach. It's not easy to to really look at. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people fall under that. They they really fall under that. And make sure y'all follow me at God Body underscore two thousand nine. Uh, if you like the video, make sure you hit that like button. Um, if you wanna follow me, make sure you follow me at God Body underscore two thousand nine. All that good stuff. I appreciate the love. I know it's mad early too. It's 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 a crazy time of the day. It's it's a let me see. It's Thursday. Yeah, so it's it's a lot. It's it's a um different kind of day. So y'all let me know. Y'all let me know if y'all in here with me, you know. Um hey Risa, I appreciate you coming in. You know, it's 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 real, so I, I got the I'm a, Y'all let me know if y'all in here with me. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button as you enter the chat room. Uh, make, if you want to hit me up for advice, uh, uh, NATO chart readings, relationship advice, spiritual advice. Um, make sure you hit me up on my email. Make sure you donate to the links, uh, either PayPal or Cash App. You know, um, if you just want to show love to the super chat, it's the dollar sign at the bottom of the thing. But uh, my my preference is is the you know would be the PayPal to Cash App, but that's fine also. I love y'all. You know, make sure you join the chat. Make sure you subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, I really appreciate that. You know, um, because I'm going real deep. Because it's easy for me to make this video from experience. Because I think anybody could really go for this. <sighs> um, you know, every man wants to be in a, with a woman, like especially as Scorpio. Every Scorpio man, we want to be with a woman that makes us want to be the best that we. Not, 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 we already come in there with the best foot, but it's nothing like being with a woman that makes you feel good about being your best, that makes you proud to be your best, that makes you ashamed to be anything else but a king, that makes me feel ashamed to be anything else but, you know, um, loving and caring and, you know, masculine. You know, a, a woman make, makes a man feel good to be a man. You know what I'm saying? But anything less than a woman, she's going to make him regret being being honorable. She's going to make him regret being faithful. She's going to make him regret sticking around because it's it's going to it's he's going to have that resent that resentment. And us as Scorpio man, we don't hold that resentment because we put everything into it from the jump street. We put our, our, our real love in it from not I ain't saying the perfection but we put our real love and genuine passion in it from the get go. You know, we put our real genuine, you know, spark to it from the beginning. And I, I know it's gonna be funny and they gonna, you know, whatever, but I, I just gotta, you know, make it happen the way it happens, you know. And I love y'all, I appreciate y'all, you know, thank you for coming in. I definitely appreciate y'all coming in. Um, it's been hard for me because Me as, as personally, and I think a lot of Scorpio men like this. People don't understand how hard it is for, for us. They don't. They don't get it. They just don't really. They just have no clue. We we show you, 
as that scorpion, we show you everything that we don't experience. We show you everything that most relationships don't experience. We show you what you're not going to see out of most men. Because we know we, we love you. We know we care about you. We show you the jewels. We let you touch them. We show you our jewels. We show you our treasures. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what different. Like a lot of people don't understand that. Even if it's in a slow motion, that Scorpio will show you the the best parts of himself. He'll show you the genuine parts of himself. But it's up to you how you take it. It's up to you how you appreciate it. It's up to you how you you caress it. It's like like trying to trying to take a person that doesn't love you and and stay in that relationship is like it's like trying to take dead leaves off the ground and take them back on a tree take them back on a branch it's not going it's not going to work it's only going to deteriorate over time it's only going to be obviously as sore to even look at those dead leaves because it's that there's it's not a part of that tree no more it's been it's been fractured from that that tree. That is no longer. It's like trying to hold a a losing battle. It's like trying to win a losing battle. You know what I'm saying? And a Scorpio man, like I tried to show women with, like a Scorpio, and I know most, especially how my British Scorpios do this. Like I try to show women what they won't see out of most men in relationships. You know what I'm saying? Where they won't see out of most men as a whole. They're not gonna see it from the 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 hyper masculine man that's 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 fake that's fake masculine. They're not gonna see it from the beta male because he don't have the heart enough to be that. We try to show you that we got your back. We'll protect you. We'll we'll help you fix things. We'll help you take care of things. We'll have your back. We show you that. And we give you our, our best from the very beginning, but as soon as you they you start showing that it's not taken into consideration, as soon as that female shows that it's not being taken seriously, that's when the Scorpio shows the raw. I call it the raw face. We show y'all what most women experience in the rawest form of it. Once you spit in that. Because once you ignore the love, once you tarnish the love, it turns black. That same heart of love will turn cold. It will go from 100 degrees to zero below. He will show you the rawest form of what's out there for you. He's going to show you what's, what's the reality of the dating field. He's going to show you how cold the world really is. He's gonna show you how heartless people actually are because a lot of individuals, when we show our best parts of ourselves, they take it for granted. They take, oh, this is the way he is. I, I can do what I want to now because he loved me. Oh, this is the way he is. So I can talk crazy to him, even though I ain't, I ain't had no heart to say that in the beginning, but because I feel that he loves me, let me do, let me, let me cross this boundary because he, he's nice and he hasn't uh, acted like a wild fucking maniac. Let me do this. Because they're going to cross boundaries that you only allow as a man for that woman to cross. You know what I'm saying? And, and there's no boundaries crossed that, that wasn't allowed by either the previous man. You know what I'm saying? Even if it won't you, that it was a previous, somebody allowed that behavior to manifest and grow into this poisonous weed into this poisonous plant and everything just like a poisonous plant everything that plant comes into contact with is is doomed it's going it's going to wreak havoc on because it that's all it can do Let's see because I'm, I'm giving y'all some stuff they ain't sharing my video like that they ain't letting the video get out there like that it's 1 p.m. here. What time is it there? Let me see. Uh, it's like 2.18 here, um, Sincerely Empress. 
it's it's real it's real early and i i understand that but y'all let me know if y'all in here y'all give me a heart i know y'all in here you know what i'm saying but y'all give me y'all let me know if y'all y'all in here in here because i want to i want to give y'all some real stuff like because i don't know what it's it's like i've, I've been had these video in me so many times it's like It's to the point where, you know, our love so deeply, you know, and Scorpio, we love so deeply. It, we try to suck, soak in our agitations because we know how we react. We know that it can scare the woman off. We know that it can hurt her or break her heart. We know that it can make a woman go into tears when we get ruthless, when we get evil, when we get mean. So the Scorpio, instead of getting frustrated, instead of getting angry, we 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 stay silent. We don't we try we try our hardest to hold on. We try our hardest to be vocal. Before Scorpio will even leave you, we will we will raise hell. We will give you hints. We will give we will you will see the writing on the wall in bold letters. We will tell you like this got to change. I do. And when the Scorpio tell you, I don't like this, take it seriously. When he tell you he's a little disgruntled about something, take it and and highlight it because it's most likely that's something enormous for him. Because a lot of times we water down our voices because of the fire that comes from our voices. It ha it, it melts the surface, literally. I, I, we know our words cut deeply like a knife so a lot of times we'll be quiet a lot of times we'll try to be understanding a lot of times we'll try to be cool about certain stuff we'll try to be patient but it gets to the point where it's like oh every time it's ignored it's like you opening your hand slapping us in the face and after the point we 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 and it's our fault because it's something that we have prone to do. We we will literally uh, suppress. We will literally suppress our voices. I suppress myself around everybody in my life because I do not want to bite a chunk out of my own people, people that I love, people that I know that love me because they, they used to the puppy dog, Najee, they used to the Labrador Najee. They don't know the 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 Najee, the werewolf Najee that bite faces off. They don't know the dangerous Najee that 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 rip rip uh skin off backbone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They, they, a lot of us, a lot of Scorpios, we show y'all the Labrador us. We show y'all the 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 Chihuahua us. We might bark a little bit, but it ain't gonna have no. We don't have, give you no real bite. We don't show y'all the real behaviors that we show grown ass men. We don't treat y'all like we treat complete strangers. We we almost feel like punks the way we love people so much. It's like it almost makes us feel insignificant. It's like, who am I becoming? They 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 they're trying to make a fool of me. These motherfuckers don't know I don't play around. I put foot to ass, but I'm but you trying to change and you trying to become that better person. It's put to the test. It's put to the test. You it's it, it ain't it ain't easy being being a loving husband. It ain't easy being a patient boyfriend. It ain't easy being a friendly uh cousin being a friendly uncle being a friendly son being a friendly uh brother because a lot of times that love is taken and it's backhanded a lot of times that love is taken for being insignificant and weak a lot of that soft talk of uh, men need to be more gentle men need to be more patient but where did where does it get them in the long haul where does that kindness and that soft man behavior get a man in the long haul. It ain't gonna get you nowhere. So we got to be a hard ass sometime. I got to I got to speak with bass in my voice sometime. I got I got to stand on what I stand on 
and, and, and represent what I represent. But who, who the hell else is going to do it for me? Uh, 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 the damn uh, sidekick. You know what I'm saying? Who, who, who else? Who I'm expecting to do do it for me? I got to live my own destiny, because every day that you live, you are writing your book. You are writing your 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 obituary. You are writing your your autobiography. You are writing your your story. You are writing your legacy every day that you live. So what you don't what is like is like so the love and the people that you you provide that love that time with it's going to count. And I, I, like as Scorpio man, we don't hold it bitterly. We take it as lessons learned. But we'd be damned if we jump into some mess. I ain't jumping from I ain't jumping from mess to another uh, uh, relationship with mess. I don't walk around from beauty from beautiful women, gorgeous women, women that can cook some damn good chicken wings too. <laughs> can cook some damn good chicken wings. But behind the chicken wings, behind the the, the chicken ass, <laughs> behind the pretty faces, it's just a bunch of dysfunction. It's a bunch of emotional baggage. It's a bunch of past resentment from past relationships. It's 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 terrible. It's literally unbearable. Just like one dude said, I, I read he I, he I read it and I started laughing. He said, "Some of these women, you couldn't you couldn't pay me with dental and health benefits to be to marry some of these women." And it and it, and this and it blew me away. Like, damn, not even the health benefits, not even the benefits. You don't even want no not the benefits and the pay. You still. It did, but I started living, and I started understanding he was right. It don't, it, it just don't pay. It don't, it don't have no, no real significance. I gain to it to be with a person that is going in a whole different direction, that don't respect you like a man. You know, one woman told me she said, you know, the woman is the the woman is the leader of the family because the woman brings in the children. So the woman is the leader of the family. The woman is the leader of the I'm like, no wonder you working, you working on, uh, <laughs> marriage number two. No wonder you been divorced. No wonder you baby daddy after baby daddy, with that bullshit philosophy, that godless philosophy, that's leading women right to the divorce court. I hope it works out for you. I hope I hope you get far with it because it. Ain't no real man going to tolerate that mess. Ain't no man going to tolerate. Ain't no real man going to follow, follow no one. It's time when we listen and we work as a team. But what real woman wants a man to follow behind her? What real strong, what real goddess wants a gesture? What real goddess, what real queen wants a clown in the king's chair? What, you tell me. I, I don't. I don't get it. What queen wants a clown in the king's chair? What what real queen wants a fucking goofball and a follower with, with this suppressed undertone and this soft ass masculinity? What real queen wants that in her palace? This a uh, uh, a fucking clown with no with no backbone. He can't he can't you, you, a damn clown. He can't protect the damn king though no, from invaders. But you want these clowns? You wonder why your why a lot of you queens' palace keep getting invaded because you got you got a you wanted a clown in the kingdom. You wonder why you got attacked by that by that lady at the store and your boyfriend didn't say nothing because you got clowns in your kingdom. You wonder why your man won't take up for you. I speak up to you when you know you dead ass wrong because you got clowns in your kingdom. You don't got no kings. You got gestures. You got entertainers. You want motherfuckers to juggle and shit. You don't want no damn king 
You don't want no damn knights. You don't want no warriors. You want clowns and gestures. And it's just like us. It's gonna be, we, we just, we're not the type. Lord, I got to call my people. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's, it, it, it's like, and I'm trying to break it down. I know it's, I know it's not, everybody's not going to get it. Hey, Sarah, thank you so much for coming in. All that good stuff. Hey, uh, Kiara, there's a beautiful beauty and death before the leaves fall off the tree. They turn beautiful colors. The death would be the end result, which is relationship ending. Yeah, absolutely. The beauty would be your growth and experience from the relationship. Absolutely. And that's that's why us as Scorpio, we don't take stuff uh, the hard way. We don't take stuff too personally because we understand that you know, all things come to an end. We understand that certain things have certain timelines. But the way I'm seeing this, it's like a lot of Scorpio, we leave women because a lot of them have that fair weather treatment. Like... They they just they only a lot of women are only around when circum circumstances are good. They only around when everything when the sun is shining. And and then somebody and it'll be that foolish woman they'll say, yes, you sure do. I don't I don't want nothing else. I just want a sunny day. I just want a sunny day all the time. I want I want to be in the spring weather. That's why I travel. That's why I go places because I like to see the sunny weather. Okay. But how you gonna make it through the seasons? Let me say that again. Yeah, you want sunny weather all the time, but how you gonna make it through the seasons with anybody? You want sunshine every damn day. You want you want the sun to rise and set on your ass every day, but you don't you you don't you can't stand you can't take the rain. You can't take the cold weather. You can't take the season changes. You can't take the highs with the lows. A leader ain't just a person that that bosses and and parades around in arrogance. That ain't no leader. A leader is the one that takes takes the the good with the bad. That takes the front seat as well as the back seat. Shit, if you a motherfucking leader, you ride on the motherfucking bumper if you got to, cause you got you gonna do what you got to do when you a leader. You gonna ride on that bumper if you got to. You ain't just around for the good trips. When that when that motherfucking flat go go flat, I'm picking that bike up and I'm and I'm carrying that bitch on my shoulder. We gonna get there one way or another. Uh, either I'm gonna toss that motherfucker and we gonna and we gonna find us another way. Win, lose, or draw. See, a, a lot of this talk it ain't it ain't for everybody, and I understand that it's not for everybody. This is not no goofball video. This, is real. you know, your face and expression saying. And <laughs> your face is just saying you are missing Gemini woman. Uh, you know, uh, you know, it's it's just I love Gemini women, but it's trying to get them focused. It's not a fun task. It's not my job to keep you focused. It's your job to keep yourself focused on love. I'm not supposed to try to keep you focused on love. I'm not supposed to help you think logically. You're supposed to think logically for yourself. You're supposed to have unconditional love for your partner, for yourself. You're supposed to have compassion yourself already. Why do I have to put compassion into her? Why I got to put, put unconditional love into her? That that's that's something that should have already been taught by your mother. A lot of y'all didn't want want a lot of people didn't have that structure and not understand that. Cause it shows. A lot of it it it, it fucking shows. A lot of Scorpio, we don't and then you know another problem is we don't we don't judge our partners viciously as we should. Because we, even though you people are like now you shouldn't judge nobody, you shouldn't be judging nobody. Why 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 can't I judge the fifty thousand holes in her armor from her past and act like she got a she got a clean slate? Cause them holes them holes count. 
that dirt in her past, that dirt pal is there. Those ske those skeletons in her closet is there. It's very much there. It ain't make believe or fake believe. Some of you like to live in a wonderful, beautiful land of fake believe where everything's just fucking dandy. That's not reality. Sometimes you got to leave that heifer alone. Sometimes you got to get that divorce. Sometimes you got to get the hell up out, out of there. Sometimes you got to leave. You can come back and get the baby. Sometimes you got to come back and get the babies later. You got to save your soul first. Then you got to come back and get the children. Because if that heifer ain't got her damn head on straight, you best believe them people going to come lock your ass up first. They going to they gonna take your ass to court first. They going to garnish your payment first. Save your damn self. Worry about worry about the other shit later because if you think anybody got your best interests as hard as a grown ass man, ain't nobody gonna give a damn about you. They gonna they gonna throw your ass under the bus. You won't have a dog in the damn fight. Save yourself. Since they want to, since they have this this very uh, feminine society, let them have it. Don't don't you become don't you become a victim of it. I know I'm pissed off because my my damn lip quivering. <laughs> my lip quivering. I get so pissed off my lips start quivering like it's cold outside. <laughs> I'm gonna get pissed off. <laughs> you know I ain't got no sense, y'all. I love y'all, but y'all know y'all know how I get. But you got to understand it. What I what I, I'm telling the complete truth. It, it, it ain't it, it ain't gonna rub everybody the right way. It ain't gonna make everybody say, God, but God, I don't care. Because I got to tell it for real. I didn't even want to do no video like that. I wasn't even gonna do no videos like that because ain't nobody really, it's only been a few that's really been holding me down. Like, for real. It's only been a few that's been holding me down that's been keeping it real with me. Ain't, ain't too many people been keeping it 100 with me. But I know, I know that's life. I know that's the reality. Because you can do everything right and a person can praise you and love you. You do one thing wrong, they'll hate you. You do one thing wrong, they'll throw you to the to, under the bus. You 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 uh confront them with their about their BS, you are the bad guy. You confront them, you you confront her about her mess, you you are you you are evil, you you headed the divorce court. Cause it's it's a man right now. Don't don't know what to do. He already married. He already got kids by. Her. He don't know what to do. He in a hell of a he in a hell of a situation. And I I, I pray for men like that. I wouldn't want to be you for nothing in the world. I used to be like, damn. I want I want to have. I do want to have children one day. I do want to get married one day. But Lord knows, I didn't save myself a hell of a hell of a ride. That's why I still look. What Muhammad Ali said, I still look pretty, oh so pretty, cause I ain't been, I ain't let a woman suck my life out of my. <laughs> I ain't let a woman suck the life out of me. I ain't let a woman stress the hell out of me. I still got black. I still got black locks that ain't turned gray and white yet, because I ain't let her stress every damn black hair in my head. I ain't got a beer belly. Floating over my damn stomach because I'm drinking my ass off out of stress and and, and pain and depression. Cause I cause I don't want to be because I'm I'm in a relationship I don't want to be in no more. You better off by yourself. You better off waiting for that queen. Because you you trying to it's it's like it's like what I tell y'all all the time. You can't turn that chicken into no damn swan. You can't turn that chicken lady into no eagle lady. She want to peck, she, like, I, like I tried, I tried, I tried, trust me, I tried. I tried to be like, come on, chicken lady, we can, we can fly to the skies. We can make it, we can make it to this, this guy. We just got to do this. We got to do that. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to be no eagle. I don't want to be no eagle. I'm, I'm happy on Uncle Ben's farm. Give me some more seeds. Bark, bark. Bark, bark. Just, just, just a chicken ass. It, it ain't, ain't got... Ain't got no damn eagle. Ain't ain't got an eagle feather in her. She had she satisfied with the in the chicken coop. 
She ain't trying to fly to the mountains. She ain't trying to fly over the rivers. She want to stay on the farm. She want to become a chicken dinner for KFC. <laughs> she want to become a chicken dinner at Popeye's. She want to become a chicken sandwich. <laughs> it's funny, but it's it's sad because it's a reality. It's the rea that's it's a damn shame. It's a damn shame. All these beautiful women, all these high high scholar women with all these degrees, all these material items, but where they where they mind that? It's like you know how when you wish for something, then you get it, then you realize it ain't shit. It's like the women fifty years ago, they they couldn't have dreamed of all the shit that women have now, all the opportunities that women have now. But they finally, the generations after them finally got it, but they ain't got no morals. They ain't got no values. They ain't got no real, no real head. They ain't got no endurance. They don't have the endurance. You got to have endurance to be in a relationship. You got to be able to fight the good fight. You got to be able to run the good race. You got to be able to wear them, them, them soles. Sometimes you got to take the stilettos off and put on, and put on the Reeboks. You got to win. You got to run that good race. Especially if you got children, you ain't got time to be prancing around, BSing, picking the damn lilies, taking your damn time. You got you better fight that good fight for, for if you if you love them, if you think it's, if you wanted to last, you better put the gloves on and start swinging. You sitting in your complacent, uh, uh, passive aggressive manner. You living in a paradise of piss. Comfortably, comfortably, with your feet kicked up. No, no type of nothing. Don't put no type of effort into it. Won't speak. Won't speak up on nothing. But do you expect the relationship to go far? It's not gonna go far. It ain't gonna get far. Why everybody calling me for? Why everybody calling me when I want to do a video? I look for you Negroes and you don't call me. When I ain't doing nothing, you don't call me. When I when I ain't doing nothing, I, it, ain't nobody got no offers. When I ain't doing nothing, ain't nobody got opportunity. It, it, no, I don't hear from family. I don't hear from that that, that blockhead females. I don't hear from none of y'all. But when I'm doing something, when I got something to say, everybody blowing up my damn phone. Everybody need Najee. Hell no, you gonna wait. I ain't finished yet. Let me see. Hey, what's going on, Scorpio? 513. Shit, I wish I would have got on one of them big channels, them big channels, and, and let me speak. Let let I, 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 I'm gonna make I'm gonna make them quiet. They're gonna be raising hell. They ain't gonna put me on them big them big platforms. They're gonna be like. They gonna be getting them letters. YouTube gonna be sending them big channels, them letters. They gonna be scared to put me on their channel, cause anything liable to fly out my mouth. I, I ain't got a silver spoon shoved up my ass to make me quiet. <laughs> yeah, most of you, the silver spoon shove. They shove the silver spoon up your ass, cause they know it'll keep y'all quiet. It'll keep you soft. It'll keep you pass aggressive. It'll keep you weak. Let, let me let me let me throw them a couple of. Let me throw a couple of pennies at them like a damn stripper. They'll they'll keep them they'll keep them ass kissing. They'll keep them nice and evil and stupid. Give them a couple of pennies. That's all you got to do to keep her ass quiet. Give them some. Give a chump change. See, a lot of them ain't gonna take this. I'm telling y'all, they ain't gonna be able to take me. They don't know how to take. A lot of didn't take. They didn't take that. They You know, they ain't just go for anything. Yeah, granddaddy like to creep out, but you might have seen one. You know, you got you got you got the the fifteen other kids. You know, your granddaddy had that one that one uncle, the uh, the uncle uh uncle <laughs> uncle unknown. You know, you got an uncle unknown in your family. Cause granddaddy was slanging it, but when he when he was loyal to his wife, he held his wife down. He might have been a drinking ass. But he held his family down. He might have raised hell, but he held his family down. He might have been a cheating ass, but he down. He he took care of his family. 
them kids, them boys became men, not half ass girly men. They became women that, that were that were meant to be wives. They became queens. He might not even had a, a third grade education back in them days, but they knew how to raise uh, boys to men. I tell you that much. They damn sure did. And they ain't had no education either. And they were poor as hell. Me start going back to them old fashioned values. A lot of women have hated and ran from me because I'm, I'm granddaddy. I'm great granddaddy. Yeah, I, I look like smooth. You did be like smooth, pretty. What, 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 my, what my uncle say? He said you a pretty Ricky motherfucker. Uh, okay, I might be a pretty Ricky motherfucker, but I'm, I'm like an old man in my heart. I have the soul of a ninety year old man. I have, I have the, I have the patience of the sixty year old man. <laughs> I have the patience of a sixty year old man too. Cause I really get pissy when I, when you piss me off, but I have the wisdom of uh, uh, that same old man too. They the ones who grown me, they the ones who raised me, they the ones who made me drink cheap ass liquor with them until I passed out. They the one that had me drinking moonshine until I had facial. <laughs> they had me drinking moonshine until I had this facial hair that you see today. I didn't have a mustache until I drank liquor. Thank you, thank you, uh, old heads. Thank, thanks a lot. Now I got a scruffy ass face. I, I can't look. I can't look like baby face if I. I can't look like uh, baby face, cause of them. You know what I mean? And that's why I had those same values. I had that same strength. I can't. I don't. I don't want no. I don't want. Uh, I don't want to scrub her down the pole, unless she. Unless she doing it at home. I don't mind if you if, I don't mind if you do tricks on the pole, but do it at home. Keep it in house. I don't care if you a freak, but keep it in house. I don't care if you sensual and sexual, but keep it in house. Don't don't be throwing away like cheap ass giveaways at the damn at the uh at the damn donation factory. Throwing your buns around like like McDonald's. It, it just it just ain't a lot of you give your buns away quicker than McDonald's on the dollar menu to clowns, gestures, time wasters, spiritual blocks. Why? Why? Why are you scared to deal with the with the hardcore man? Why are you scared to deal with the masculine man? Why don't you like the man that 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 speaks up to you? Don't you respect that more than the motherfucker that's soft and oh, I ain't gonna say nothing because I'm gonna be scared. I ain't gonna say nothing because she gonna do this. I ain't gonna say nothing because she she gonna get on my ass and I'm a, and I'm gonna get my girly little manly feelings hurt. So I got, I got to be good. I got to be on my best behavior. Girly as hell. They, 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 be trying, they be trying to overcorrect these these little boys quick so quick to uh force them into this so quick to diss them about that they won't even let little boys be boys no more they won't even let the look and they wonder why they look a lot of these little boys sissy don't want to be in the damn want to be under their damn mama all the da damn time because you don't ran the damn daddy away but what the hell he, what the hell else is gonna happen you, you got to have you got to put in what you want out of it. I ain't trying to raise no I ain't trying I don't give a damn who likes it. I ain't trying to raise no girly ass sons. I don't, I don't want to raise a, a, a heartless daughters that become succubus spirits to other men that become time wasters to other men that become another man's baby mama. That becomes another another man's piece of sad ass because I ain't do what the fuck I was supposed to do because I ain't stick up I ain't stick I ain't stand up to her mother and be a man because I just I, I let her beta male me into and, and had kids just to keep her around because I'm too beta to put my foot down 
to keep her around. I can't keep her around with my heart. I can't keep her around with my mind. So I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get, I gotta get her pregnant. I gotta put a wedding ring on her. I have to get engaged. It's not, it's, it's just not realistic. If I don't want that, I want the real deal. I want, I want the queen. I don't want a gesture. It's like. Most of you build your house on sand. Most of you build your house on sand. And when the and when the rain comes, you making motherfucking mud pass. You making mud pass. Think about that. Most of you built your love house out of sand. Nothing with no heavy, strong structure. Nothing with no morals. Nothing with no value. Nothing with no respect for God. So when the rain comes pouring, you're making fucking mud pass. Looking stupid. You even build the damn pathway. You build the, the damn pathway to find the house out of damn out of damn sand. You can't even find you can't even find your way back to love, cause you walking in the, in circles. You don't even know where the path at no more, because you build your path out of out of sand. The rain to wash the path away, because you built it on such solid on such shallow grounds on with such shallow material. So how long is gonna last? It ain't gonna last long at all. And that's why Scorpio, we leave. We don't beat a dead horse. We leave while we still can. We leave while we're still ahead. I'm not gonna wait till I till I'm down in the dumps and I'm and I'm hurt and heartbroken to leave you. And I, I, I'm not I'm not, not wanting to be too at like some dudes at at be like I've been hurt. I've been hurt like a motherfucker. Even when I had to break up with a woman, I've been hurt. I done broke up with women and I, I and I'm hurt because I, I hurt. I hurt just I probably hurt more than she do because I love so hard. I don't want to get I don't want to do that. That's the last thing I want to do. But how but how the world am I supposed to stick around in a toxic relationship? I can't it's toxic. Think about the word it's toxic. I can't breathe. I can't think. The top it holds an odor to it. It holds a stench to it. It's toxic. It's dangerous. It's toxic. It's a losing battle. It's a sinking ship. What man in his right mind is going to stick around for a sinking ship? You ain't the Titanic, baby. We ain't sitting on the Titanic of your love. I ain't sinking to the bottom of the damn ocean because of your love. Sink in the name of love. R. Kelly step in the name of love. You go, I'm going to sink in the damn name of love. Fuck around with some of y'all ass. You going to sink me in the name of love. You supposed to be stepping in the name of love. You got me sinking in the name of love. Some, I, I seen dude, old head, beat down because of women. I'm like, damn, man. He like, you know, I, I you know, at some side, I never forget about her. Uh, a woman broke my heart 50 years ago. I was when I was your age. A woman did to, this to me 30 years ago when I was your age. I used to have dreams. I used to have strength. I used to have charisma, but they got drained by the wrong woman. They got surrounded by the wrong people that didn't love people. Women that didn't love them, and they gave them their best. Don't you call? Won't you call him a wise? Don't, wouldn't most women call him a wise man? That he did what he's supposed to do. Yeah, he he yeah he broke his fuck and don't have no kids and been living miserable fifty years, but he's supposed to be loyal to her. He did the right thing. Okay, yeah, right, uh, <laughs> right. Wait, wait for failure. Wait for heartbreak. Wait, what the hell he stick around for? Ask yourself, what should he stick around for? If he leaving in the first place, why should he stick around? Look at yourself seriously. Judge yourself seriously. List your pros. 
list your cons as a woman. Don't look at him. Look at yourself. Ask yourself, am I a good woman or I'm not shit? Don't just because you're good to yourself, don't make you a good woman for to have a man. You might be a good, a wonderful woman by yourself. You might be a wonderful woman on the side. You might be a wonderful woman for temporary pleasures, but you're not a wife. You're not a girlfriend. You don't love, you don't love with your heart. <laughs> you don't love nobody. Stop fooling yourself. You don't care about, a lot of you don't care about nobody. It's only a, a, a it's only a handful, and I, I applaud the real women that still have heart. I applaud the real women that still have a soul. I applaud the real women that still put everything into what they do. But it's, it's you are a minority amongst a minority. So yeah, Scorpio, we lead. Yeah, we haul ass. Why why are you gonna stay on a sinking ship? Why are he gonna stay in a condemned house? Why he gonna live in an abandoned house? Because a, 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 a dead relationship is like an abandoned house. It leaves everything to be desired. The windows busted, boarded up. Ain't no air condition in the house. Ain't no heat running through the house. Ain't no carpet. Everything old, probably roaches. A bando. Most of you, most of your relationships are like bandos. Abandoned houses, boarded up houses, no love, no heat, no warmth, no laughter, no compassion, no energy. It's just there. It's, it's a shell of what could have been, of what it could have, should have, would have been. It's only a shell of what happened. And you got, and you got to be careful. You got to be careful. Of course, women, I, I want y'all to protect yourself as well. But the women, you got to protect your sons. Be, ask yourself, do you want your, do, would you want your, your son with a woman like you? Would you want your daughter choosing and making life decisions like you made? Do you want your daughters or your granddaughters to have the same history as you and repeat it all over again? Because you're perfect, right? You're flawless. You're God's gift to man. So what so would you 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 want your daughter to be just like you, right? From man to man, boyfriend to boyfriend, husband to big slanger. <laughs> She went from husband to a dick slinger overnight because she couldn't keep that man satisfied. She didn't want to listen to her husband. She didn't want to. She didn't want to be real with herself. So she got what she got. And a lot of times, a lot of those women, they leave those relationships because they they don't want to take accountability. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes the relationship is toxic. Sometimes she got to get a, a divorce. But I'd be damned if you get a divorce, uh, you separate from that boyfriend, and you bring that same baggage over to a new relationship? You got moldy You got moldy bread in that baggage. You got moldy uh, baloney in that baggage. You've been keeping that baggage for two years. How long you been dating him? Two years. How long you were married to him? Six years. How long you y'all was together? Seven years, and you got you still got stuff in that. You still got a bag with stuff in that relationship. It's going to stink like old food. It's going to stale like old food. It's going to tarnish and rust like old jewelry that's not been cleaned. It's not going to have the same gift to it. It's, it's not. Ain't no man. Only only a trash man gonna want that. Only a low vibrational weirdo is going to want that. Only Oscar, Oscar the Grouch in the damn trash can want some damn trash, want a trash woman. Bringing trash and extra baggage. 
her whether it's her attitude whether it's her negative outlook on everything whether it's her her godless philosophies whether it's her godless ways she gonna pass that down to her kids she gonna pass that down to your kids especially if you have children with her i always want the kids so bad because i know i have so much strength I know I have so much wisdom to pass down to my sons, to my daughters. But I'd be damned if I have any of them by just anybody. I would say, the Lord saved me by the damn bell. Ding, 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 ding. Saved by the motherfucking bell. Ain't that something? Imagine me, baby daddy Najee. Baby daddy Najee on child support. Broke ass baby daddy Najee. Can't, can't, can't keep $2 in his pocket. As, as it is, now, now it's like, what the fuck? I'm flipping burgers at, I'm flipping burgers at Burger King. Not, cause, not because I fucked up, because I ain't got no other choice. I'm broke as fuck. I got, I got, I got, and I got eight kids. Because I was too beta to put my foot down. I was too beta to be real with myself. I was, I was too weak. Not, but not not no Scorpio. We break it off. You can call us and hate us or whatever you want to, but we we will leave before we stay in sinks in sinking sand. I will sprint and pull myself out that motherfucker before I sit in sinking sand in quicksand. Being in a dead relationship is like being in quicksand. It I almost I, I was almost to my chin in the in the last two relationships. I, they almost had me up to my damn chin. You know what I'm saying? The Lord had, he had to grab, I, lucky I got locks. The Lord had to grab me by both hands and, and pull my, and yank my ass by my head. It kind of hurt a little bit, but he, he tried, he, he didn't have no other choice. He had to save me. So he had to make it uncomfortable for me. Because he knew if he didn't make it uncomfortable for me, I would have stayed in this lifeless, godless relationship. When you're in that wrong relationship, when you with that wrong people, when you with that wrong wife, when you with that wrong uh, homeboy, God will make it unbearable. Well, however you want to say it, the universe will make life unbearable. You will not be able to even look at yourself and smile because you know you are drawing in your life away. The Lord, everything will go wrong. You won't be able to say a nice thing to them. They will do everything wrong. They will say everything wrong. The universe will make it literally unbearable for you to for you to take it. Cause you are not equally yoked. When you're not equally yoked, you are worlds and universes apart. And the Scorpio, we're not going to sell ourselves short. One thing about Scorpio, you might call us hell raisers. You might call us crazy, but I, I'm I'm crazy with morals. I'm crazy with masculinity. I'm crazy with testosterone. I'm crazy with love. I'm crazy with passion. I'm crazy with wisdom. You can call me crazy, but make sure you make sure you say the whole title. Don't just put one piece of the title. Say I'm, he's a crazy, intelligent motherfucker. Don't 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 just say a piece of it. I'm crazy enough to speak my mind and not be a, a fucking punk ass bitch that won't open his mouth because he too damn soft to stand up to his damn woman. Stand up, scared to stand up to the females that, in his family. Scared to stand up because because you want to because you don't want to be liked. You want you want everybody you want everybody to applaud you. You want everybody. To, to to be your best friend. But they, they walk all over you. They don't value you. They don't respect you. But you're supposed to bow down. You're supposed to submit like some soft sissy. Nah. I digress. I'll take the high route. I'm out of here. Ain't no need to beat a dead horse. Leave her ass alone. She act like she don't want to be married no more. Leave her ass alone. She act like she don't respect you. She don't respect God. Leave her ass alone. Leave her godless, unsympathetic ass alone. She'll learn. 
She gonna learn one way. Life, life has a hell of a way of showing people the reality. Leave her ass alone. She'll find a, a godless man that will treat her like dog shit. And she will and she will cry day in and day out and, and wish she would have took that time. Wish she would have took that patience. Wish she would have been that that feminine. Because she got everything she wished for. You want it uh 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 uncompat you know, you're gonna get what you get. Scorpio and nine times out of ten, he breaking away because it's something that he sees. He sees something that's terribly, terribly wrong. We we'll shed tears over you. We'll we'll try to we'll even try to we'll try to even talk to you. Very rarely, but we'll it's, it's Scorpio, we love you very deeply. We will try to have that that conversation with you. But that's rarely. We don't do no explaining. We don't do a whole lot of explanation and oh baby. Please, we need to have a sit down. Please let me sit down and express my love. I can express my love. Only the guilty man does that. Only the weak man does that. But the man that was the righteous man, he ain't got to do that because he did what he's supposed to do. He said what he was supposed to say. He stood on principles as a man that he was supposed to stand on. And he didn't. I wasn't made for you to like me. I wasn't made for you to disrespect me. I wasn't made for you to to boss me. I got my own journey. He just loves you to make you a part of it. But that man has his own journey. He's not one of these frolicly, uh, these flim flamsy ass dudes that just go from woman to woman. Cause that's that's how he he measures he measures himself by how much pum pum he can keep in his lap. Nah, I measure myself by how much respect I can keep as a man. How many people I can stand up to in the face of adversity? How many people that I can say I can walk away from, even even when she thick, even when she's sexy. Even when I got history with her, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna treat her any differently because I know her. Why would I let? Why would I not? Why would I let her disrespect me? And and then, why would I treat her like a queen and she disrespected me? Then a complete stranger do half of that, and I'm, I'm that's how people do. They they won't say nothing to the to the main ones, but they'll scall at the ones that might do a little something. They'll scall at the ones that they're not sleeping with. They'll scall at the ones that they're not dating. They'll treat they'll mistreat the ones because they they're not with them. But that person's a piece of shit, and you don't do that to them. That person don't do shit, but and you don't do that to them. You don't call them that. They ignorant as a motherfucker. You don't say that to them. A lot of people don't don't look at it. Look at it for real. Look at the whole picture. Don't just look at it. Don't look at the glass halfway full. Hey, Tanya Woods. Hey, hey, Ania. Hey, Ania X. <laughs> I always I always stumble with your name. Uh, for those yeah. Uh, no, thank you so much for your support. I usually don't even do joints this long, but it's a serious video, and I know a lot of people breaking up is a serious thing. So I didn't want to make it seem like this simplistic thing. So I'm gonna I'm put part one and part two on it. You know, if you want to follow me, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Godbody underscore two thousand nine. Uh, if you enjoying this video, hit the heart. If you like this video, you know, let me know in the chat room. Uh, make sure y'all donate, show that love to either my PayPal or my Cash App link. Uh, make sure you show that love. You know what I mean? I'm I'm not in here for playing around. I didn't come in here for, for just to be seen. I didn't even come here just because I had a, a new video. I came in here because this is just something that needed to be said. This is just something that just had to be spoken about because, you know, we don't never, 
we always, you know, beat the person that's leaving, beating the person that's, that has a heart enough to break a terrible situation. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of times, it's 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 an enormous reason. So, I love y'all. You know, big kiss. You know what I mean? I hope y'all enjoyed it. You know, I don't know. Because I can only, you know, give y'all what I can give. You know, I can only give y'all as much as y'all can really, you know, articulate what I'm saying. But always understand this. It's never an easy task for us because we have this this love of permanence. We have this love of, of you know, concrete. That's why I can't understand flim. I can't fuck with no flim flamsy ass people. I can't. I love them. I always I, I always have a place for them in my heart, but I can't never keep them around me. They don't love like me. They don't get it like me. They just, it's just not there. They're not made out of that material. How I can't look, how can I love a woman like that? Most dudes are married to women that they that they love a hundred times more than she loves him. I don't I'm not taking that type of relationship. It's, it's, we got to be equally yoked in every form, way, or fashion. I'm not accepting backhand love. I'm not accepting trash can love. I'm not accepting leftover love. That ain't shit. And I'm going to be the one to say it. If nobody else got the balls to say it, I, I'm going to say it. It ain't shit. And it needs to be discarded and deserted because it's not worth your damn time. You're wasting your time. I'd rather be harsh and evil then let's then end up breaking each other hearts in the long run because that's going to carry more damage than just an attitude than just hurt feelings a broken heart that that shit cuts deeper than a knife so i'd rather be an asshole temporarily and for her to move on for both of us to move on than to be somebody's fool so i love y'all i understand where the scorpio man coming from we come from a deep place Everything, even when we break up, it's deep. I ain't breaking up with you because you because you uh lost because you gained a little little belly. You, you got a little tummy tongue. I don't care. It's your attitude. It's your ways. It's your philosophies. It's your beliefs. It's your character. That's that's what it is. That's exactly what it is. And if you're not willing to change. And then I'm going to do it for you. I'm going to make the change for you. You can stay the same way you are, but I'm going to change. Because I'm going to leave this relationship. And I'm going to leave your ass alone. With you, your attitude, and your dysfunction. Where it belongs. So, I love y'all. You know, a big kiss to y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. You know, <laughs> all my stuff, y'all y'all know my links, whatever, whatever. You know, pounce to all my brothers that might watch the video later on. My email's in there if y'all want to reach out to me. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you for putting all my information. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Not see y'all soon. I, I usually give y'all a little time to say something before I leave. So I'm going to be patient let y'all say something. But make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Um, you know, make sure you su support the video. You know, it's a lot of people that came in and came out, but make sure y'all show that love. I ain't seen nobody say nothing yet. So I love y'all. I'm going to dip up out of here, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.